This guy has befriended two giant bears, but it's not as cool as it sounds. The bears always bring problems and mishaps. Things get really out of hand when they accidentally travel back in time. Will they be able to come back? Vic is an unlucky guy who is always looking for a way to earn lots of money. His best friends aren't humans, but two giant bear siblings named Briar and Bramble. Briar is strong and mature, while Bramble is naive and clumsy. Regardless of their different nature, they give their best while working in a team. This time, Vic has decided to earn money by becoming a tourist guide of an ancient cave. However, he doesn't know a single thing about history or archaeology, and just babbles self-made theories. The tourists realize that he is a scammer and goes away without paying him. Vic gives up and starts packing his things. Bramble also wants to help, but he's too clumsy to handle anything. The best help he can do is by doing nothing. Briar draws a circle on the ground and asks Bramble not to get out of the circle till they pack up. Bramble notices a glowing butterfly and starts following it. A hole opens in the wall magically and the butterfly goes inside. Bramble proceeds further to touch the hole, but it suddenly expands. Numerous glowing butterflies fly around and hide everything. They disappear after a while, but all the Vic's belongings have disappeared too. They step out of the cave but can't believe what their eyes are seeing. The forests have disappeared as well and the whole landscape has changed. It seems like they traveled back in time. The bears prefer waiting inside the cave till things get back to normal, but Vic notices something shiny. There are giant rubies nearby. Vic runs to hug them and can't believe his dream has come true. He's going to be rich. The bears try to call him back, but he doesn't listen. The crystals suddenly start moving. They are actually grown on the back of giant turtles. Vic isn't scared at all as he believes turtles are going to be slow. But surprisingly, the turtles run at the speed of a bullet and throw Vic and the bears in the middle of the herd of giant boars. They hide in a tree trunk and try to sneak away, but run into a baby boar. The baby starts crying and calls his family. Their boars start chasing Vic and the bears till they reach a giant tree on the edge of a cliff. The boars seem to be afraid of something and go away. A giant carnivorous bird lives on that tree. It attacks Vic and bears and tries to eat them away. Briar tries to harness the bird but fails, and all three of them eventually fall off the cliff. Briar wakes up in a bamboo forest and meets a small wolf named Feifei. She offers Briar to make a team with her, but he doesn't need that. Feifei keeps following him and asks Briar to help her in getting a special fruit called the Courage Fruit. In exchange, Feifei will guide Briar in the forest. She also saw Bramble and Vic falling down and she believes that they must have died. Briar doesn't believe her and keeps looking for his friends. Meanwhile, Vic and Bramble are chased by a group of weird tribe people. They tie them up but get distracted by a caterpillar. Vic and Bramble almost escape but a gorgeous woman stops them. Vic is mesmerized by her beauty and steps forward for a handshake, but the lady beats him up. Afterwards, she knocks down Bramble as well and takes both of them to her village. Back on the other side, Briar is still being followed by Feifei. They encounter a giant sleeping panda that is the sole guardian of the forest. Briar also meets tiny pandas, but they are quite mischievous and don't let Briar continue his search. Feifei promises to help Briar get rid of the tiny pandas if he teams up with her. With no choice left, Briar finally agrees. Feifei climbs up on a tree and teases the guardian's nose to make him sneeze. The impact causes a plant to magically bloom and all the tiny pandas stick around the plant to eat it. Briar is tempted too, but he must find his friends. Vic and Bramble are taken to the tribe village. The lady who brought them is named Lin, and she is like a hero for her people. Even after eating a giant turkey, the tribe men are still hungry so they proceed to roast Vic and Bramble. Before they can do that, a group of yaks attack them. Lin has the strength of ten men and fights the yaks with her bare hands. She knocks down a bunch of them but they are too many in number. Vic gets attacked too so he tries to distract the yak with a phone camera flash. The yak still hits him but he coincidentally ends up on the yak's back. The witnesses assume that Vic is a hero who is controlling the yak. Bramble tries to help and they all crash into a hut. The yak falls unconscious but Vic and Bramble survive. An old lady picks up the phone and believes that Vic captured the yak's soul inside the phone. She calls Vic and Bramble saviors sent to them by the heavens. The people bow before them and ask for blessings. Meanwhile, Briar is still suffering in the forest with Feifei. Though he also grew up in a forest, this place has plants Briar has never seen or imagined. He lies down to take a nap while Feifei wanders around to look for food. She spots a rabbit but prefers to eat fruits instead. Suddenly, a bunch of wolves reach there and bully Feifei. They call her a coward who can't hunt animals. Feifei refuses to accept that so the wolves challenge her to eat the rabbit. Feifei can't do that and the other wolves continue making fun of her. Briar sees this all and scares away the wolves. Feifei tells him that she lied about being tough. She is actually quite naive. Every time she catches the prey, she feels sorry for it and lets it go. That's why she wants the courage fruit. 
It's the most magical thing in the forest. Anyone who eats it will become really brave. It is said to be in the nest of the big bird, Duma. The bird also gained his enormous power by eating the fruit. He is always guarding the tree because he wants to keep all the fruits to himself. After realizing Fei Fei's problem, Briar gets more determined to help her get the fruit. During their journey, they encounter many obstacles, but their teamwork makes everything easier. On their way, Briar notices a kid being attacked by the pack of wolves. Briar gets in the way and fights the wolves. Suddenly, the pack leader named King comes forward and scolds his pack for not being strong enough to catch a kid. The kid tries running away but slips his feet. He hangs on a prop route and Fei Fei helps him too. King calls her a traitor who has gotten on the enemy's side. Suddenly, the tribe reach there and scare away the wolves. The kid asks Lin to let Fei Fei stay with them until she recovers. Briar finally unites with his friends, and they all go back to the village. Vic has been having a great time with the tribe as they easily get impressed even by the smallest things. Vic puts on some music on his phone and starts his day by dancing with the tribe. Afterwards, he teaches modern things to them, like making furniture, cooking hot pot, making cars and bicycles, and so on. The party keeps on going till the phone runs out of battery. Vic wants to return back to his time, but to find a way, they must return to the cave where it all started. Fei Fei has completely recovered so they can continue their journey. After covering a few miles, they lie down for a nap. Fei Fei hears some weird noises and looks around to check. It's King. He scolds Fei Fei for befriending humans. The forest belongs to the wolves and they should be the one ruling it. But their plan is getting destroyed by the bears. They must be eliminated and Fei Fei is going to carry out this task. King promises to welcome her back in the pack if she brings the bears to the valley where the other wolves will kill them. The next day while walking through the caves, the wolves wait for Fei Fei to lead the bears to the valley, but she is not selfish enough to betray her friends. They reach the top of the cliff and divide the task. Vic and Bramble use a turtle to distract Duma, while Briar and Fei Fei head towards the tree. Fei Fei is really excited and reaches the treetop in mere seconds. She starts looking for the fruit, but only finds the bird's eggs. The fruit was just a myth. Fei Fei loses all hopes and recalls the past when her brother Hunter was alive. She wanted to be brave like him but always let the prey escape. One day, her actions caused a negative impact, and she almost got crushed under the falling stones. But Hunter sacrificed his own life to save her. She still blames herself for that incident. Hearing her story, Briar remembers about his own past. When his mother passed away, he felt really sad and weak. But then he noticed his brother Bramble crying. To take care of Bramble, Briar forgot about his own sorrows. He acts brave to protect his brother. Briar believes that everyone is a little coward, and so was Hunter. But people pretend to be brave for the sake of their loved ones. Suddenly, the ground starts to shake. It's the volcano. It's going to explode. All the animals run away, including the bears and Vic. The cruel wolves are still after them and surround the bears and Vic in a corner. Fei Fei begs King to let go of her friends. She is ready to face the punishment in their place. King calls her useless and ashamed to the pack. Her friends are useless too. As King says that, a pineapple hits him. It was done by the kid who Fei Fei saved. The kid has also brought the tribe and they fight against the wolves. Suddenly, the volcano explodes and shoots out huge lava balls. The ground splits and the tribe is left on the wrong side. If the bears don't save them, they will all die in a few minutes. Luckily, there's a tree nearby that can be used as a bridge. Bramble and Vic start chopping it down while Briar stops the wolves from interrupting them. King succeeds in reaching Fei Fei and threatens to kill her. He reminds her how helpless she is. Her friends are going to die and she will fall off the cliff too, but she can't do anything about it. King says that she is no more than a worthless coward. Fei Fei is also ready to give up on herself, but then Briar shouts out that she is the bravest friend he ever had. This reminds Fei Fei of their whole journey. She may not hunt or kill her prey, but she will always protect her friends no matter what. Saying this, Fei Fei starts fighting the wolves and also grabs the axe to cut the tree. King tries to interrupt them again, but Fei Fei jumps off the cliff while grasping on King. She sacrifices her life to save everyone. She was a real warrior. The weather recovers and everyone is saved except Fei Fei. Briar sits down on the edge of the cliff to mourn his friend's death. While he is crying, a familiar voice grabs his attention. It's Fei Fei! She is alive! The volcano has finished exploding and the weather changes drastically. The bears notice the blue butterflies again and have to follow them to reach the cave. Briar feels a little emotional, but he has to say goodbye to his brave little friend. Afterwards, Vic and the bears head back to the cave. It's time to go home. Bravery is not defeating the enemy. It's the courage to stand against anyone who dares to hurt your loved ones.